I found this really cool looking retro game at my local junk shop. Picked it up for a dollar. It's an old car racing game. There must have been a steering wheel here which is busted off now. And the speed control and stuff. And I don't really care about the game too much. I think the game's probably pretty crappy. But what I care about is this case. I mean the case looks great. I love the lines on it. And I thought it would be great to hack and actually put my own uh, electronics in there and own type of game. So what I was thinking of doing is just pulling out all the insides, removing this and um, circuit bending one of these. So this is a voice uh, recorder but you can circuit bend these uh, and you can make them um, make the voice speed up, you can you can make it on repeat and you can do a few other things as well and they're really cool. I've hacked a few of these before in the past so I'll add some links to this uh, YouTube clip in the description. So you can check those out if you want to, but yeah, I'll hack one of those, we'll stick it in there. I'll also add a, um, a reverb and echo module in there somehow, and I was thinking about making a custom circuit board with some sound activated LEDs. So when you do it, LEDs will be flashing behind this screen here. So just a motor and a bunch of gears. It looks like there's a little sound thing there as well. <laughs> That's pretty clever. It's just a piece of um, rubber over a, a bit of plastic which makes a drum sound. So the insides have been taken out. There's never as much room as you kind of hope inside something like this. So I want to fit a custom circuit board as I mentioned and that will sit here. So there is where I'll have the um, speed control for um, this module. So you'll be able to make it go high pitch or low pitch. Be a couple of controllers on there. I'll utilize that on off switch there. I'll probably put a speaker at the bottom here and put some feet on it. Um, you're gonna hold it and play at the same time, you're gonna be playing it down on the ground, so you'll still be able to hear it really well. Try so to get these gussets off, I find just with some wire cutters. It should come up pretty easy. So we'll snip all these ones we don't need. I'm just gonna be careful that I don't take off these screw one so it's one two and three there so the rest of them come off all the little gussets and brackets and everything else removed it's really thin plastic I mean you can you can see my hands through it so made that hole a little bit bigger allows the and the button to slip in like that it's raised quite high I don't know if I'm 100% sold on it but we'll secure it in and see what it looks like it's not too bad it's actually got an LED in this as well so I could light it up um, there's gonna be enough LEDs in this thing so I don't think I'll worry about that yeah I'm kind of happy with that feels good so for the design, I'm thinking we'll have the speed control here in the middle, the echo or reverb here and here. So give me enough room to turn the knobs. I like the red, it matches the base, so it's pretty cool. Um, we need some more buttons here, another button here, switch here. The mic will go there. I'll have a record button here. Alright, so LEDs look pretty sweet in there. I'd be great if I could have them like that, but you know, it's too far away, so. Here's my panel design that I just recently put together for my sound bender. 
Um, it's pretty straightforward. The I'm using Inkscape to do this, and I'm not proficient at it. So, uh, but I get by with just enough so I can um, put these things together. So all, all I did was I started with the basic outline. You can see that here of the of the case, and made sure it was in the same measurements. And then I found that center hole. And I use that as the basis to build everything else around. So in the center, we've got the speed control, which is here, or the pitch control. I've also got the echo and reverb pots at the top there. Um, down the bottom here, we've got the recording section. To record, you need to flick off the loop. So it, the sound is constantly going through a loop. And to be able to record, you need to flick off the loop, hit the record button, which will be here. And then you're just speaking to the mic. Uh, record you know five ten seconds worth and then you can you play your sounds on that I'm also probably going to take off the um, border so you can see here's one without the border the borders helps me to find the space that I've got to utilize but other than that I don't really need it so I'll take the border off um, prior to printing this out and adding it to the front of the um, case also I've put together the schematic so it's pretty much made up of three different circuits. The first circuit is the voice recorder or sound recorder. Over here you've got your speed control, there's your loop here, your LED, your recording LED, your indicator, record buttons, mics. It's a really pretty basic circuit and that IC is connected down here um, to another pot and that's connected to a 386 op amp and that will give me the volume. Without that the, uh, the sound recording IC is, is really quiet, it's too quiet. So adding an amp will give me some good boost and good volume. And then lastly, um, we've got the flashing LED circuit here. So that's one I've done before in the past and all I did was copy and paste over here. Really, it's not connected to anything. Obviously put that onto a PCB. So these are the LEDs here, there's 11 of them and they will shine through the screen on the case. And then the case, the screen kind of finishes around here and all this will be behind the case so you won't see it. Um, this will be sitting as far down on the bottom of the case as possible. The LEDs look cool if they're away from that lenticular lens, lens which is in the case. So I'm gonna put that down, probably try and lay it flat onto the base of the, um, the case. Behind here though, it will be a speaker, so um, I can't lay it dead flat, but it's just gonna be a very flat speaker anyhow. So I've added the front panel now to the front of the case. That turned out pretty well, I reckon. Took me two goes. I didn't bother filming it. It's a little bit uh, tricky to do and just really didn't want to worry about filming it at all. I'm a slightly off, you can see here. So I'm gonna drill this hole out a little bit larger and then I can move the um, pot around and get that right. And yeah, I got it pretty straight, but you can see this slight angle here. It took me two goes to do that, um, but yeah, I'm really happy the way it turned out. To secure this decal on there, you spray it with some clear acrylic, get a few sprays, and uh, yeah, so the next thing I'll do is drill out some holes here for the pots, add the switches down here, switch here, and that switch back in there, and I'll get that. Uh, Get that going now. It's very soft plastic. I mean, really, there's nothing to it, but it should be good. So I've got the first lot of buttons in now. I've got the loop switch, I've got the record switch, and the mic. All the switches and pots are now added to the top. I think it looks pretty damn good. We've got the on off switch, and this will light up when you hit the record button. Uh, record, obviously the mic's there, loop, uh, pause and then you flick up there that switch there and then it will turn to restart you got your your pots there for your echo reverb and your speed now I'm just waiting on my PCB which is being currently being printed once that's done we can start to add PCB to the back 
of this, which will fit in this section here. So I've had the speaker in, but the echo and reverb module in. You can see that there. Done the mods to that. So the mods are pretty simple. There's a, a little SMD um, uh, resistor in there. You just gotta flick that off and then you can have echo working on this thing. And I've also added the power and battery module. So I've just used an old mobile battery. It's a charger there. And this is a tiny, tiny little buck booster. So that will change. Uh, convert that up to 5 volts. Everything runs off 5 volts so that should work fine um, and next thing to do is to start wiring everything up. Okay I have everything wired up to this board now it's all soldered and done. Um, I've got some test cables it's all a bit of a mess but let's try. Okay we've got some light. All right so I'm going to short these two pins which is the record button. I've got a button there I'll record something and then we'll see how we go. Now I've got a loop button here. Yes! Hit! Try pause. Volume. And pitch. I would say that's a successful trial. I'm happy with that. I haven't got the reverb and echo module yet, but that's pretty easy to install. All right, let's have a look through the screen. So it looks like, uh, turn it. Oh yes, love it. Bop, 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 bop. Well, here we are, ever so close to closing this case up and finishing this project. Uh, actually, I only ran into a couple of small issues. One of them was that this module here, you need to run this through an amp. So you can come have it coming in, but when it goes out, it needs to go through an amp. The amp was actually connected up to the board so I actually had to separate the amp on the board and then um, run it through separately through the out section here on this on the module. Other than that the only other thing as well is because I did that um, the lights weren't working so the amp and the lights weren't connected anymore so all I did was hack a microphone you can see just there comes out the other side there and then that just picks up the sound. Yes, we are done. My sound bender is complete. Case is on and it's ready to play with. So turn it on. I've got the loop off, so we'll record something now. Bada bum boom. I've got echo on here. Turn the speed up. Right 
down. Let's turn the echo off. So that's the restart button there. Turn echo back on. Let's turn the echo on even more. Try just pause. Look how cool those LEDs look. Okay, let's record something else in there. Let's do a whistle this time. can we record? Let's do another sound. I'll just say something this time. Hello. Volume here. Let's turn the echo right up. So the echo goes on for, <laughs> for some time, it's pretty awesome. Well that's it. That's my sound bender, all done and finished. Uh, there's a step-by-step -step guide in the description of this YouTube video, so if you want to build your own, or you want to print up your own circuit boards, and mess about with it yourself, go ahead, I've, I've supplied all the um, schematics and the Gerber files and everything else. So yeah, um, happy making and um, thanks for watching. Cheers.